But most zoology majors start off uh, at Miami. A lot of them are pre-med or pre some professional school. Uh, and that trajectory changed for me after I started working in one of my professor's labs. One day in an ecology class, a professor said, oh, does anyone want to work in my lab? And I said, sure. I didn't even know I was going to be paid for the job. And I started working there. It was a limnology lab, which I didn't know what limnology was at the time. It's the study of inland waters. And uh, I started, started working in his lab, had my own research project. And even though at the time when I started working there, I was pre-med, I fell in love with the idea of studying the natural world. And uh, I was, I was like, this could be a lot of fun. That research wasn't per se a course and it wasn't directly part of a degree requirement, but it was really that experience of sitting in lab meetings with uh, the professor, his grad students, and other undergraduates uh, going and doing research on Acton Lake and Houston Woods uh, that sort of allowed me to experience research uh, in a way that I wouldn't have been able to see otherwise. And I think that's the biggest uh, part of my experience at Miami that really led me down this career path and this sort of life trajectory, if you will. I think that one of the, the more frightening things that uh, people confront in their lives is when they think they know something, they think they have a grasp on the world, and then they're confronted with, with information that contradicts that worldview, where you think you know what's going on, and you're surprised to learn that actually you're more ignorant than you realized. We always are, the more you learn, the more you realize you don't know, as the saying goes. And in a liberal arts education, you're, you're confronted with those situations, and that discomfort is rectified by the presentation of knowledge itself. One of the most surprising, surprisingly valuable experiences that I had at Miami were the classes that I had to take that I didn't think I wanted to take uh, and probably didn't want to take for first few weeks of it. Uh, you know, that was, and you're, you're, you're put in a classroom, a situation where you can either go with it and embrace it or you can fight it and just be miserable. And to my surprise, time and time again, I would sit in these classes and I would learn something. I would become a more well-rounded person. I took an interactive media studies course uh, IMS 224. It was a pilot course, pilot year for the course, and it was about digital writing and rhetoric. I majored in zoology and environmental science. Uh, I took this class because I needed credits. It was my senior year. I didn't need credits in anything in particular. And we learned all sorts of principles about design. And in, in the end, I've actually used those skills to this day when creating uh, scientific presentations or reports online tutorials that I'll put in YouTube to uh, instruct colleagues how to use software or perform analyses. And, uh, or if I'm publishing a journal or article and I want to insert figures of study organisms into the statistical displays of the data, and I'll do that in Photoshop, for example. I'm extremely glad I gave it a chance because I still think about it to this day. I think that one of the most valuable generic aspects of Miami's resources for students were just open doors, uh, both physically and in a more abstract sense. Uh, whether it was professor's doors being open or I needed to add a major or change a major and the staff were friendly and had open doors or open doors to uh, get involved with student organizations or libraries that are open 24 hours, you can go study. My lessons there are one, you can meet friends, you can meet people in any place. Uh, and, and also being a genuine person and presenting your interests as they actually are to the world and to those around you in the long run is probably a good, a good thing to do.